Each year around this time, it's become a tradition on FIRST to look at some of the people who make Delaware unique. Yeah, and we do that through our FIRST experience stories. It's our spin on the arts and culture of the FIRST state. For the next half hour, Mark, Nichelle, and I will give you a unique tour around Delaware. We're going to start in Newcastle County. If the holidays are about giving, then the Ronald McDonald House is at the top of the list. And at this time of year, they also receive a lot from the community that makes it extra special for the families who stay there. Ronald McDonald House opened its door 25 years ago. So we're here to provide a home away from home for families that need to leave their local community and seek out specialized pediatric medical care for their children. One of our biggest goals for the month of December is to get the house all ready for the holiday. It makes the kids feel like it, it's a fun place to be because there's so many different things to, to look for and find and families enjoy it too. It kind of makes them feel like they're at home. <laughs> We couldn't do it with our small staff. I only have 13 people on our staff, so we really rely on volunteers and the different volunteer groups to come out to decorate the house to, to the nines. We're in the living room here at the house, so we have quite a few volunteer groups that come through to help decorate. Probably one of our oldest um, long-term groups are our wonderful garden clubs. In the living room, there's a tree decorated by the Brandywine Garden Club, and it all has seed packets on it and beautiful ribbons, and so it's quite, it's very lovely. And we have probably about 12 different trees that our garden clubs have decorated. This year, we were very, very lucky. We had Macy's come out, and they also helped to decorate the house. And then another long-term group is our um, Department 56 Club. They have put together various different villages that can be located in our hallways, in the dining room, and those are some some of the more intricate little d decorations that kids really have are fascinated taking a look at. And what I really like is when the kids come in, it's very magical. They go around and they check out all the de decorations. The outside of the house gets a beautiful holiday decor by um, many different volunteers that come out. And what it represents, we call this time of year our share night time of year. And uh, we ask the community to contribute $15 which represents what we ask a family that's going to stay here, a $15 donation. So we ask the community to contribute $15 or more. And then we have volunteers that come out and string oodles and oodles of holiday lights outside. Um, we raise about $100,000 during this campaign in the month of December. And every light that's hung on the outside of the house it represents a $15 donation. So it's very comforting as all the families come into the house to see that overwhelming community support. So it, it is a festive um, array of displays and we light our lights on December 15th. We have a big ceremony which the community is invited to be a part of. And we turn on the lights and the lights stay on from December 15th through the new year. We also have Ronald that comes that evening and he does a magic show. We serve hot chocolate and hot dogs and holiday cookies. We have a group coming in and we'll sing some Christmas carols. Um, it's a real festive evening and uh, it's just very heartwarming to see how philanthropic our community is to come out and support the 50 families or so that'll be staying at the Ronald McDonald House. Thank you for letting us tell a little bit about the Ronald McDonald House and um, our families are really very grateful for the community support because they have to leave their own home and to be here and be able to celebrate the holidays is tough for them but seeing it well decorated and it gives them a little piece of comfort and hope too to see our house um, well, well supported by the community. At any given time, there are about 50 families who will stay in the Ronald McDonald House. It is close affiliated with AI DuPont Hospital for Children and Christiana Care Hospital. If you want to know more about the Ronald McDonald House, go to rmde.org.